friend in this session we are going to study about descending order and addition under the chapter halves and quarters the last session we study about ascending order ascending order is nothing but the smaller number to the greater number descending order is greater number to smaller number first uh, given the problem our first problem is 3 divided by 13 7 divided by 13 2 divided by 13 11 divided by 13 and 9 divided by 13 so our answer now we need to arrange the given number in Ascending order. So ascending order is nothing but greater number to smaller number. In fraction, whatever it is, ascending or descending, addition, subtraction, everything, we should concentrate denominator first. So you see the denominator children all have 13, the same only. So, we don't have any problem. We have the same denominator. So, we can arrange easily from greater to smaller number. So, in the numerator, we need to search greater number. So, 3, 7, 2, 11 and 9. Which one is the greater number children? Yes, correct. 11 is the greater number. So, 11... So, first one number is the fraction is 11 divided by 13. Then, you search the second one. The second greater number is 9. So, which one comes next? 9 divided by 13. So, the next number's greater number is 7. So, next one 7 divided by 13. The next biggest number is 3 divided by 13. So, at last, the remaining final one, 2 divided by 13. So, our answer, 11 divided by 13, strictly greater than 9 divided by 13, strictly greater than 7 divided by 13, strictly greater than 3 divided by 13, and strictly greater than 2 divided by 13. So, this is our descending order children. Children, our second problem is 3 by 9, 3 by 7, 3 by 6, 3 by 10 and 3 by 5. You see the numerator all as 3. So, here Every numerator is same but denominator is a different. Already ascending order I said just in your level you have to arrange using some trick. After LCM when you have to study then only you can do the proper method. So just I give a one trick. I say one trick for you. You should follow that. Then you can make it a descending order. That is very easy one. Already you study in ascending order. Actually we do this problem using LCM only children. So, only uh, I tell you one trick for you. The numerator, everything is same. Uh, denominator is different. Already we see. So, you arrange the denominator in as you like the ascending order. 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. From Actually, we need to arrange it. That is our 
process small action a descending means we need to arrange greater to smaller so this is also in order of greater number to smaller number only that is correct when we take lc then only we can find easily but in descending order they ask means this type of problem as usual you have to arrange small to big small to big like 5 6 7 8, 9 then 10 so small to big i have to arrange but the symbol only here different you know is strictly greater than strictly greater than you should change the symbol that is the different so our answer is 3 divided by 5 strictly greater than 3 divided by 6 strictly greater than 3 divided by 7 strictly greater than 3 divided by 9 and strictly greater than 3 divided by 10 so this is our answer so we have arranged the given fraction in a descending order children our next heading is addition given the problem 13 divided by 79 plus 22 divided by 79 you see children our denominator same both the denominator is 79 so same so we can add it directly we no need to take any lcm so you do like that 13 divided by 79 plus 22 divided by 79 so both the denominator is same so i write down the same denominator 79 and i need to add the 13 and 22 so 13 plus 22 3 in the mind after 3 you need to take two fingers 3 after 4 5 so write on 5 then 1 in the mind after 1 you need to take two finger so after 1 2 3 so 3 so what comes now 35 so in the numerator what we need to write 35 so 35 divided by 79 is the answer so 13 divided by 79 plus 22 divided by 79 is equal to 35 divided by 79 this like you need to find the addition children is it clear so numerator sorry denominator same means we can find it easily suppose denominator different you see the second problem children 3 divided by 11 plus 2 divided by 10 now you see your denominator both are different 11 and 10 they given so now we can't find the sum directly so you need to do some methods already i told you using lcm means it it is possible to write easily but we didn't study the lcm so only in the descending order also we can follow the same cross multiplication method children now i introduce the cross multiplication lcm we don't know means you can use the cross multiplication method children you watch carefully so our first fraction 3 divided by 11 i take that fraction 3 divided by 11 cross multiplication i said you know so only i put the cross multiplication here then the second fraction 2 divided by 10 i take it here now you see the second fraction denominator is 10 so that 10 
we need to multiply the first fraction numerator as well as the denominator so first fraction i take and put the multiplication symbol and take the 10 from the second fraction denominator so i multiply 3 multiply by 10 is equal to nothing but 13 3 tens are 30 then 11 tens are 110 next you take the second fraction 2 divided by 10 is multiple by you take the 11 from the first fraction denominator the first fraction is multiple by the second fraction denominator as well as the second fraction is multiple by the first fraction denominator. That is the class multiplication children. So now second fraction nothing but 2 divided by 10 is multiple by 11. So 2 11 are 22. So 10 11 are 110. Now I take both. So I give a number 1 and 2 children. Now I need to add 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2. What is 1? We get the answer 30 divided by 110. I write on in 1. Then 2 is 22 divided by 110. So I write down 22 divided by 110. I need to add 30 and 22. So in the denominator, what we need to write? Yes, both are same, 110. So I write down the denominator, 110. So I need to add 30 and 22. So 30 plus 22. So in one's place we have 0. Any number you add with the 0, we get the same number. So in one's place we get 2. Then 3 in the mind, we need to take 2 finger. After 3, 4, 5. So what comes in the tens place? 5. So what we get? 52. So I write down the answer. 52 in the numerator. Now I get the fraction 52 divided by 110. So 30 divided by 110 plus 22 divided by 110 is equal to nothing but 52 divided by 110. So this is our answer. So our answer is actual our fraction is 3 divided by 11 plus 2 divided by 10 is equal to what answer we get? 52 divided by 110. So this is our answer children. This like you need to add like fraction means you put the same denominator or else you should take the class multiplication. You can use this class multiplication in descending order or ascending order problem also. Or else you should follow. I already told one trick that you can follow is it clear can you understand so i hope you are all learning the descending order and addition in the today's session take practice well thank you children